oh my goodness gracious me it is currently wednesday which means i have four sleeps until we are on that plane to bali we leave at 7 a.m on sunday and i am so excited for it we're going with a group of friends if you didn't already know we're staying in a villa in Chenggu, and it's just going to be so much fun we want to go to lots of cafes and day what do you call them day clubs just basically sit by pools and sip margaritas. I'm very excited about it. Obviously, I'm going to bring you along, but the first video I wanted to start filming was my preparation for Bali, starting with my eyelashes and my eyebrows. I don't need too much done to my lashes, but just a little fill and an eyebrow lamy I'm definitely due to because without product on, they don't stick up anymore. And I just love a brow lamy. And I feel like when I have fresh lashes and brows, as sad as it sounds, I feel more confident without makeup. And Bali, I'm just not going to want to be wearing makeup every day. I want to put a bit of tinted moisturizer on, especially for those casual days, and just not worry about it and feel pretty. So, yes, that is the first step today. I was going to get my nails done, but I feel like they're still looking really good. And if I want to get them done again, I'll just do them in Bali. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm also getting my first ever wax down there never had one never had waxing anywhere and i'm going straight for the hoo-ha i've got a good pain tolerance but so yeah i'm gonna do that because obviously i don't want to be shaving all the time and i don't want to have like shaving rash or anything so unless i get a mad reaction from getting waxed that would be hilarious but we're getting it done on thursday so we'll have a couple of days to address the situation obviously i need to pack as well i need to figure out what i'm bringing what i'm wearing i know it's just going to be a lot of bikini days with a throw over over the top which is just great so it'll be light packing i have also prepped a couple of things to bring which i thought i would show you hydrolytes hopefully i don't need these obviously you can get sick over in bali the first time i ever went i was so sick that i broke out in shingles i now have the shingles virus so when i'm very very stressed i'll get shingles right here which i know sounds really gross but it's just what happened. I was that sick. I was bedridden for days. And then the second time was fine. But obviously, if you do get sick, you lose a lot of fluids. So it's good to have these handy. And these are immunity ones as well. They have vitamin C, zinc, and elderberry. And if you're a little bit hung, great. I also got this. I've heard good things. This is a gradual tan by Dove. Their summer glow. I couldn't get my hands on the Palmer's one. But I'm going to use this while I'm over there. I will do one layer of tan before I go on Saturday night. I'm going to try and keep that the whole time. Just apply this. Try and get a little bit of real tan as well. I'm thinking this will keep me moisturized and hopefully keep a bit of color on me because I do want to look nice and tan. So I'm going to bring that. I need to head off now to go and get my brows and lashes done. I do have makeup on because I was filming stuff this morning, but I imagine she'll take that off. So, oh, I'm so excited for a brow lamination. Quick OOTD before I head off. Active wear, obviously. This set is from Do You Even? And I love it. I have a discount code for Do You Even? And this... Valera is from White Fox as well, so I'll leave both of them in the video. We got new dining table chairs as well, finally, because we had two casualties. So we got new dining table chairs, and we actually have a new table as well, which we'll be setting up for the weekend, so I'll show you guys. It's really, really nice. I'm very excited about it. Anyways, I need to go on money late. Bye. Oh my god. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, please, please. No, I don't want to drop you. <gasps> Kawa? <laughs> and this is Stormy. Hi. Just for size reference, I don't know if you can tell, he's tiny. He's only five weeks old, yeah? Mm -hmm. That must look like the biggest plate of food ever. <laughs> oh, he's gonna get in there. <laughs> See how small he is, guys? He's so small. Mm. My lashes are done. Obsessed as always. I get a hybrid lash. In case you didn't know, I've been getting hybrids for years. The first place cat I've eye. gone, yeah, cat <laughs> eye hybrid lash. First place I've gone where it just hasn't been. I used to get the fullest lashes. <laughs> look how pale I look, oh my goodness. But now we're doing brows. And we have the after. My eyes are a bit red because I just got eye gunk out of it. I'm in love. I just love a brow lamy. And look at those lashes. She's fresh, she's ready to go. I was planning to wash my hair tomorrow, but because of the brows, I'm gonna try and leave them until Saturday because the longer you leave them and not let them get wet, the better. I'm so happy. Beauty Call Official, obviously I'll leave her links in, um, I'll leave like her tag here and link down below as well. And she's gonna have a sale this month as well. So if you live in Brisbane, definitely go and visit Millie because I, I've never been so, this isn't just saying this because she's my friend, I've never been so happy with my lashes and brows ever. Hello, it's Thursday, which means we're going to get a wax. I'm really quite scared. We've just arrived at the shops. We're going to a place called Wax Me Now. You don't book in, you just walk in and you come out a hairless beaver. Hairless <laughs> beaver, fam. I also went and got a travel card this morning, so that's sorted. We're gonna go in. I'm genuinely scared. Like, I'm, I'm really scared and I don't know what to expect. I've never been waxed before. Apart from my eyebrows. 
So let's see. A little mm. bit more tender than your brows. Mm, I need a brow pencil too, actually, speaking of brows. Oh my god. Is that what you got? That was so painful. Mm -hmm. You had had one before. Yeah, I'd had a few. Why did I think you haven't? I don't know, but I was telling you about it before we got it, so I don't know why you think I was just whipping it out of my asshole. Well, we just whipped wax out of our asshole. We, we really did. <laughs> that hurt. I'm tough and I couldn't hold in my little screams, I'm not gonna lie. And I've never felt so awkward sitting there in a t shirt waiting for her to come back in the room. Nothing down there, just a t shirt. Just waiting. Um, I couldn't film because it would have just been really awkward. But they were very nice and you could tell that they did that all day every day and they didn't think anything of it. Yeah, you don't really feel like they're looking into your inner holes, you know? Yeah. They're just Which used to nice. seeing all of the holes. Yeah. But anyways, that's done, so that's nice. What's next? Packing. I'm gonna pack tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Happy Friday! It is packing day. I've written myself a list. That's all toiletries. That really long one is all toiletries, so that's small. But I've divided it up into categories. I've got clothing, shoes and accessories, toiletries, electronics, and carry-on. So, yeah, I found a bigger suitcase, which is good. I thought I only had my little one, but this one is huge. I also need to double check how much baggage I'm actually allowed. I want to say 20, we're flying Jetstar and the standard that you pay for is 20. It's just the shoes and the toiletries and the makeup that add up. But I'm thinking I might try and carry my makeup on. I'm gonna start easy. I'm going to get my pajamas together, active wear, and maybe my bikinis. Cause I feel like that's not gonna be hard to choose. It's more going to be the picking the outfits kind of thing. But I imagine most days it's just going to be thrown whatever we're heading out and then there'll be like nights out and I'll pack a couple maybe dresses and some casual outfits depending where we go. So I'm going to take this off the bed. Also my bed is filthy because Theo broke his toenail the other day and I haven't washed them since because I'm going to be tanning tomorrow night. So I didn't really see a point in washing them, getting a tan, dirtying them, then they're filthy. So Please ignore. Hopefully you can't even see. But I'm going to lay everything out here and begin. I'm not going to lie. I just had a break. I haven't even started. But I needed a break. Okay, so first thing I need is pyjamas. The only thing is I don't have any like cute summer vacay pyjamas. I have four pairs of French Bulldog pyjamas. Not you specifically. That would be good though. That's a good birthday present. Anyways, packing. Um, oh, I almost just want to wear these with a singlet. I feel like that's cute. I feel like I might do that, which means I need a white singlet. Yes, 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 yes. All right. We're on, boys. This one. Oh, God. This. Because that can double as a top that I want to wear during the day. And I also have another one from White Fox that I want to bring. But this can be my PJ one with these. That's what I'll sleep in. Okay, we've made some progress. I have an active wear set. I'm just bringing one. These are from White Fox. And then this is the sports bra that I'll bring. And then I also have this oversized tee, which I'm sure I'll just wear throughout the trip as well. But if I want to cover up whilst I'm working out, because I don't often work out in just a sports bra, I've got that. And then I also have this one from Do You Even to chuck on over it as well and that's like an active an actual active wear top this one can double as just like an oversized tee if i want to wear that as well i also have bikinis i did not think it would be so hard to choose bikinis but i have i think five pairs i've got a white fox black and white zebra print i also have this pair that i just got from white fox i'm obsessed it's like a triangle these are all triangle bikinis because they're my favorite it's that I also have this, which I have from literally years ago from Shein, but I love that color. Then I also have this from Princess Polly. Lots of bright bikinis, but I'm making sure to bring a plain black one as well. This I wear all the time. Is that right, Theo? Right there on my top. He is actually getting picked up by my brother tomorrow to go to my parents' house for the week. So he is going to have the time of his life, but I'm going to pack this all the way now into my suitcase. First steps done. bring a white bikini top I have one I just don't love the bottoms on me because they're a bit big they look a bit nappy-esque which isn't what we want so I might bring a white top in case 
I can just wear different bottoms. If I just want to wear something that's open but I need like a white top underneath. Or is that just silly? So I have this one. So if I want to wear something that needs a white top underneath but then I'm wearing shorts or something, you won't know what I'm wearing on the bottoms. Is that silly? I don't know. I'm having more thoughts. I have this. I love this colour and it's so... This is such a good tanning bikini. This is from White Box. I had more thoughts. I have taken the white bikini out, put this one back in from Princess Polly. I think I'm good. That should be fine. Now I'm packing clothes. So starting with some pants, I have these from Princess Polly. These really wide fit crochet pants, which are going to be so nice and comfortable, easy to chuck on. I feel like everything, like I'll just wear this with a bikini top. That's an outfit. I also have thrown in two little singlets. So if I want to put a singlet on, I can put that over the bikini top. So black and white, one of those, those are always handy. I also have these pants from White Fox, which I love. Again, nice and low rise and loose and you just tighten them up. And they've got like pockets. See, they're like cargo pants, but they're beachy because they're linen. I really, really like these. These would be good for a night out too. I also have this set from White Fox. This is from a different set, I can't remember, but this is a little crochet skirt. And then this long sleeve crochet top. Absolutely stunning. Again, if I don't want to wear the crochet skirt, I could wear this with the denim skirt, which I'm definitely going to bring. Folding long sleeve tops is really hard. I haven't quite gotten that skill down pat. Maybe if I do that and roll. Nice. That takes up a lot of room, but it has to come. I also have this top here, which is from Princess Polly. It's like a really nice crochet Long sleeve, but it is like sheer and crochet, so it should be nice and cool. This is like a denim skirt or denim shorts or the white pants or anything really. You can't go wrong with white tops and I feel like that's always what I reach for, so I'm making sure to pack this one. I've got this set from White Fox. Very cute. Then it's got a matching skirt. Again, you could wear these separately as well, which is great. I also have this dress. It's like this and then it wraps around the front it is so pretty this would be nice for an evening out i'm thinking i'm going to bring one pair of heels i'll bring a white pair of heels and that's it so if we end up wearing heels which we probably won't meaning me and freya i don't know the boys might bring heels i don't know but if i need heels one night i've got a white pair and that's it that's what we're looking like very colorful i love oh my god i cannot wait to wear this this really beautiful satin dress looks like that look how pretty that is <gasps> that'll be so nice for like really hot evenings out as well because it's so lightweight i also have this top which i love and i did show this was it in a haul or a vlog i don't know i showed it recently it's an extra small so it's quite tight but it is really nice and i figured these are the white pants also have this and this is where i changed my mind and took the white bikini out because I thought this had white detailing in it, but it's more, oh, well, it does have white, but it's got kind of dark detailing and it does look good over a black bikini. So I think I'll pack this as well as one of my just overlays if I just need to chuck something on over a bikini. I will be limited to what bikinis. That's the only thing. I've got a white oversized shirt, which I will definitely bring because this will go over everything. Any bikini that I'm wearing, this will go with. So I'm definitely bringing this. Another dress I'm a thousand percent bringing. This is from Princess Polly. So comfortable, so easy to chuck on. Again, it takes up a lot of room. Guys, I'm scared. Just had to charge up my camera because it has died. That is how long this has taken me. It's getting to the point where I think I'm going to have to finish this tomorrow when I have a fresh brain because I'm just overwhelmed. But we've made a little bit of progress. I am going to pack some shorts. Denim shorts, definitely a necessity. And then also a denim skirt as well. I was tossing up between bringing both of them or just the skirt, but I figured I'm not gonna wanna wear a skirt every single day. So a pair of shorts will definitely come in handy. I've also packed my underwear, my bras, and some socks, and a couple pairs of shoes. First ones are these thongs. These are just from Cotton On, five bucks. One pair of heels, which I kind of do have a lot of room for shoes. So I might be able to bring a black option. We'll see if I need them. They're trashed, which is kind of good. So I'm going to bring these. And then also a black pair of sandals. I imagine this is what I'll wear most days are these shoes. Oh, and also these. I've got these out because I'll wear these on the plane. I think I'm going to have a break now. I might put all my toiletries together 
and then tomorrow when I continue packing, I'll give you an update. Right. It has been a long time. It takes me so long to pack, but I think I am done. I did continue because I was determined and I think I'm sorted for clothes. And I do need to remember I am going with my sister and if she needs to borrow something, she can. If I need to borrow something, I can. So I've got that option too, but I've added a few more things. I've got a sheer skirt. I've got linen shorts. This is a fun little skirt from Tiger Miss that I thought would be good for like a night out. And then I added this blue and white shirt instead of my white shirt because Freya's bringing a white shirt. So if I really need one of those, I can borrow hers. And then I've just got like a silk shirt that I can chuck on if I need. A couple more fun tops as well. And I did add more shoes because I think I have the room. So black thongs, same shoes as before. I'm also bringing these. These are like platform little sandals just in case I want something like not a heel, but in between. Then I'm bringing clear heels because they'll go with everything. My white heels still. And then this handbag in case I don't want to bring my nicer handbag just during the day and whatnot. So that is all my shoes and all of my clothes sorted. Also have gotten out all of my toiletries as well that I'm bringing. It's a bit of a mess right now. I need to put them all away. But I'm bringing some sunscreen because apparently this costs an arm and a leg when you're over there. So it's good to bring your own. So I've just got this one from Naked, Naked Sundays. Yodorant, face tan drops toothpaste this will be my scent of the trip it's nice and light because it's not that full so i'm gonna bring this this is the kale deja vu white flower scent i love this it's actually hair mist but it's really really nice i'm also bringing an eye cream an eye serum face wipes i'll bring face wash as well um i've got this little sample conditioner i was going to pack it in one of these but i decided to put soap in it instead because i did have this already and then i've also got my gradual tan which is also going to double as my moisturizer as well and some shampoo medications i'm just bringing a multivitamin the hydrolytes panadol and then there's also some anti-acids in there as well because i tend to get um indigestion quite a lot if i eat different foods so i'm going to bring that just in case this is my hair stuff just a hairbrush hair clip and hair ties and then for oh and i also have my tan as well in case i want to do another layer i don't think i'll scrub it off but if i want to do another layer i've got that just in case and then a razor and then for my carry-on i have my hard drive my sd card converter my book which i am loving by the way, tripod. I've got these little containers in case I want to add any more skincare in there. Um, I also have my passport. This is my carry on. And then for the plane, I am wearing this. It's like a long sleeve jumper and then trackies because I'm always cold on planes, but I'm going to wear this underneath in case I need to take the jumper off. And then I'm also bringing these in my suitcase, which are like little bike shorts in case I get too hot. Cause I know when we land, it's going to be boiling. So I will be prepared. So, I'm going to pop all this away and that's me pretty much sorted. I need to go through my list. There's a lot of green ticks now, which is good. I'm just going to double check. I have everything, but I think I'm sorted. Oh, another couple of things on my list. My makeup, obviously I am going to try and bring in my carry on, my camera charger, my laptop, my headphones, my laptop charger, my iPhone charger plugged into my laptop, my toothbrush charger, my toothbrush. And I think that's it. So I'm going to clock off now because my brain I've been packing for like three hours. I'll probably see you guys tomorrow and then on Sunday we leave. I'm really exposing my dirty pillows right now. I am washing all my sheets. I need to replace these pillows because they are covered in tan. It's really bad. I will do that at some point, but happy Bali Eve. It is Friday. It's currently 8.30 and I just about to go to sleep. I'm actually really tired. I think I've had a lot of organizing to do today and it's just caught up on me which is good because we have an alarm set for 4 a.m we booked an uber pre-booked an uber to come at 4:45 to pick us up and get us to the airport by five and then our flight is at seven we live really close to the airport which is nice but we figured we better pre-book an uber because at that time you just you just don't know now i'm going to get some sleep i've got to wake up 45 minutes before we're leaving because i'm currently marinating in tan so i'll wake up and rinse that off Get myself a little bit ready, get all my stuff together, pack my laptop. I haven't weighed my bag, that's the only thing I'm stressed about. I don't know if I have too much stuff. We've got 20 kilos, but you can weigh it before you go in. And I don't really know what I'll do. If it's more, I guess I'll have to pay for it. But I'm hoping it's less because I want to buy things too. Like there's definitely room to fit things. I could buy extra weight on the way back. Yeah, anyways, so I just solved that issue. I'm going to go to bed now. <gasps> and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, happy Bali day. This is our new table, by the way. We set it up last night. It looks so stunning. And these are the new chairs as well. And that is Keith, the new magpie. And this mirror is here temporarily, but it's very cute. But we're ready to go.
Let's go. Oh, we're enthusiastic. <laughs> All your foundations. You're nasty. Just said it's happy ending money. I need to change mine over. But most importantly, I got myself a sandwich because I'm starving. We have made it to Bali. The flight went so quick, five and a half hours. Did you have edited, to pay for it? read my book, watched some YouTube videos, yeah, and now we're here. Frey's got a smell of us. Everyone's here. We're on our way to the new one. We've made it. I'm a little bit shocked right now. This place is insane. I'm currently in my room. This is what it looks like. Are you kidding? And then this is outside our pool. And then there's all rooms here as well. Oh my gosh, we did little tricks. This is the kitchen area. And then there's a little breakfast nook over here. I'm dead. Oh, there's a day bed over there too. I'll show you guys my room a bit better. This is my bed. And then I didn't show you the bathroom before. This is the bathroom, the basin area, toilet over here, and then look at the shower. You can have a spa in there if you want. Oh my God. And then this is the view that I'm going to wake up to every morning. What do you mean? a rainy day outside today I didn't end the vlog oh I got something in my eyeball I didn't end the vlog last night because we were rushing off we came back to the villa we had an hour and a half turnaround which sounds like a long time but I did unpack all of my stuff into here because I thought since we're here for a whole week if I can see everything that I have I'm gonna know it's there and I'll be able to put outfits together easier and I feel like a whole normally I don't unpack but I feel like a whole week in one place it's good to unpack and there's so much space in this room, so I'm really happy I did that. Um, and then we went to Finn's, I'll insert a few clips. And we spent all afternoon there, watched the sunset. We got cocktails and pizza and literally just had the best time. It was the best way to start the trip. And this morning we've just had breakfast at the villa. They came and cooked us breakfast, which was so nice. But the only thing is we can't eat the fruit because they wash it. So it feels like it's going to waste. So we either need to tell them not to bother with the fruit anymore and like the veggies and stuff because they were washing it all and we just can't eat it. And we felt really bad wasting it. So we need to tell them either not to do that, choose a different breakfast, or we might just venture out for breakfast in the mornings so we're not too sure yet but today i think we're going to have a little shop day because it is a little bit of a rainy day the rest of the week is meant to be sunny which is great but today's the only kind of like rainy overcast day so we're just going to have a bit of a mooch around go get a cafe lunch i think we're getting italian for dinner at a place called rustica which is meant to be unreal italian food so obviously i'm very excited for that i am just italian is my favorite cuisine in the world that and thai food i just absolutely love it so very much excited for that. But I am going to end this vlog here because it was just like a pack with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos from me. I think my next video in Bali will be like a daily vlog, what I eat and paid in a day in Bali. I feel like that could be fun. Like a full day with me, showing you what I eat, everything I do, and then also letting you know everything that I pay. Let me know what you want to see. Everything else I'm going to film like reels and TikToks as well. Um, I was going to vlog this whole trip, but I feel like when i'm vlogging i do find it very hard to switch off i feel like i'm constantly thinking about needing to film things and um i'm not like in the moment and i really want to be in the moment and enjoy this trip and i feel like that's the thing on me because i feel like some people can vlog and just like whip out the camera but i'm really kind of particular with it and i like the clips to look nice and i just think about it a lot and i think i just it makes me a little bit anxious sometimes so i think i'm just going to do that daily vlog and then document everything else on reels and tiktoks and stories and whatnot so make sure you follow me on instagram and on tiktok i'll link all of that down below but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for joining me once again i love you all so much and i'll see you in my next video. Bye!